Dustin, talk to me about Twisted Metal. Yeah, this is coming up quick. I got to be honest, though, this trailer didn't really move the needle for me at all, which I guess it it could have. <laughs> it could have made it a lot worse if what we saw was either too CGI heavy or, or too hokey and cheesy and stuff like that. But I don't know this. I, I don't really feel any different after seeing this trailer. And I guess that's not a bad thing. I don't know. I don't feel negative about it. I, I think I must admit that seeing it kind of move the needle a little bit more towards the positive, even though we don't see very much. I think that we can see enough to understand that it's going to be what we hope it is, which is over the top, very apocalyptic, probably weird. We'll see what happens. Chris, you have any thoughts on the Twisted Metal trailer? Yeah, I mean, it, it looks fine. I mean, it's, it is a very it's a teaser trailer, so there's really not much to go on. We see some of the cars we see one car shooting and driving and it looks fucking ridiculous in live action. It's just very, very silly looking. Uh, Sweet Tooth looks fine. I don't know. I, I don't know if this moved the needle for me. Uh, I'm still. I'm still very curious about it, if anything. And, you know, we'll, I'll, I'll check it out. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to go. I'm going to go in open minded with the assumption that we'll cover it at least once on Sacred Symbols Plus, maybe like the pilot. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe do or may, and then maybe do a synopsis of the sh- of it later. I don't think we'll do an episode by episode, blow by blow thing like we did with The Last of Us, because I doubt the quality or the intrigue or the interest will be there to justify that. But um, yeah. But no. yeah. All right. Let's move on to the um, to the Gran Turismo trailer. Yeah. That film trailer is also out now. Numbers wise, it's way bigger. Sony Pictures Entertainment published it to 9 million views in two days. And I got to say, this looks great. I think this looks fun. I think mm-hmm. the performances look fun. I think that they ruined the movie in the trailer, that that's a very modern thing. They basically tell you beat to beat what the, what the whole story is about. And of course, it's based on a real story. So we already know what it is anyway. But it's cool to see this like this smart PlayStation integration, but it's not really anything to do with it. It reminds me of the Tetris movie. Where it's it's called Gran Turismo, but not really. And uh, I, I dig it. So, Chris, what do you think about Gran Turismo from Sony? I don't think this has. Does it have a date yet? I don't think so. Uh, yeah, August. Oh, August. Okay. I don't know the date. It just says that's what in the in the oh, description. Yeah, it just of the says trailer. yeah at the end in the splash screen it says August, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Chris, what what do you think about this uh, Gran Turismo trailer? Uh, I'm into it. I think it looks good. I I didn't realize, and I'm sure this was. I'm sure I did know this, but like I kind of like folded it back to the the far reaches of my brain because I was just kind of like, oh, it's a Gran Turismo movie, whatever. But I didn't even necessarily consider the fact that it's directed by Neil Blomkamp. Yep. Which is kind of crazy. I think Neil Blomkamp's, uh, Neil Blomkamp's awesome. And uh, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Again, I, I'm kind of with you where it's I probably wouldn't have bothered to catch this on my own. <laughs> uh, but being in a situation where you're kind of paying attention to it, just to kind of keep keep up with the space, it looks kind of good. Production wise, anyway, it looks pretty great. Yeah, I don't think I've seen any of his films because I haven't even seen District Nine. I don't think you haven't seen mm-hmm. District Nine. No, that's no. oh wow. District Nine's awesome. Yeah, I heard it's great. I heard people also told me that I would really I would really like it. Like, yeah, I think you would really like District Nine. District Nine's awesome. Um, but he did that movie Demonic, I think, and I think he did Chappie, Chappie which I, which, which yeah, I didn't I didn't, I didn't love, but like. You know, directing wise, I, I think all of his stuff's really good. Yeah, I, I guess what I'm saying is, is it seems like he's done all sci-fi until this. Like Gran Turismo is his first film that is like a is just a film about people, life, and people. Yeah. yeah, it's not about like some science fiction stuff. So I'll be interested to see that. But I, I'm not, I'm not a film expert by any stretch of the imagination. You shouldn't listen to me at all. But I thought this was really good. It, I think David Harbour to me is I only really know him from. Uh, Stranger Things, and I, I really like that show. Although the third season, I haven't even watched the fourth season yet. The third season actually just totally turned me off to the show. I got to just get. I, I actually stopped halfway through the last episode. I'm like, I can't even stand this. I just wish they would get through this. What happened? But I know it's supposed to get a lot better. I'll get to the fourth season. But I like him in that. I think he's really quite likable in this as well. Orlando Bloom, always nice to see him. This kid, I, um, Archie Mat- Matakway, I think his name is. Interesting. So, Dustin, any thoughts on the Gran Turismo film? Yeah, I think this looks. Pretty cool. Pretty interesting. I like that they're, I don't know, this would turn some people off. To me, it's really intriguing that this is going to sound so negative. It reminds me in a way of The Wizard 
in that it is blatant advertising for Sony and Gran Turismo and PlayStation, where they have this tournament they walk into. There's PlayStation logos and stuff on the wall. But that doesn't necessarily mean that it's blatantly just a commercial. There's clearly a really interesting story here. And I like the top comment on the trailer. I, I find really intriguing where someone said, finally, a movie which actually shows how much physical, how physical motorsports is. And that was probably the most intriguing part of the trailer where they're out running the track. They talk about how it's I don't know, a million degrees inside the, the, inside the car itself. And I never thought about anything like that. So I'm, I'm definitely intrigued. Thought this trailer was much better than expected. And yeah, I'll be there to see it for sure. Um, Real Radic wrote in though and said, Hey CDC, hope you three are doing well. Are we underestimating the overall casual and pu- or public interest in the Gran Turismo movie? As of writing this, the trailer has over eight and a half million views on YouTube and was actually number one on trending at, at a point. So this is say more about the appeal about Gran Turismo as a franchise, which is the best selling planchi- PlayStation series ever. I'm sorry. Or does this prove that there is a huge casual audience that is just in the cars with the Uncharted movie making more than $400 million worldwide? Do you think Gran Turismo can match that with Twisted Metal and Gran Turismo coming soon? It looks like this will be a summer of PlayStation productions. Exclamation point. I'm very excited to see what they do next come 2024. Thanks and take care, boys. Thank you, Radic, for writing in. So I think that you hit the nail on the head in the sense that maybe we just need to accept that Gran Turismo is huge because it is. And Gran Turismo has been huge for almost 30 years at this point, right? I mean, like, let's say 25 years, but that's actually that's OK. I think Gran Turismo 1 might be. Is it 98? Let me see. So let me see. Gran Turismo Wiki. Yeah, December 97 for the game in Japan. So yeah, 98 for us. So all right, so let's say 25 years. It's been big because Gran Turismo, all of the Gran Turismo games are huge. They're huge games. All of them sold millions of copies. Yeah. I'm pretty sure Gran Turismo is the best-selling game on, like a a Gran Turismo game is amongst or the best-selling game on every console that they've released so far, except for four because... Gran Tur- or PS4 because there's that would probably be like somewhere in like fifth place or something like that. So it's always been huge and like Twisted Metal, which they're also mining, as we just talked about with Twisted Metal is a literal launch window product for PlayStation that, that goes back as far as possible. I think they're mining the Fifi's this summer with these different things, the feels and the nostalgia. Uncharted is not a nostalgic project, a project that can't be. It's not that old. It's 15 years old. Well, you know, it's just. I I'm mean, sorry, I, that could be nostalgic to people. Well, I think you know I, mean? I think it's sure, but it's not. I think you're right. But for people that have been with PlayStation forever, like that might be nostalgic for you uh, compared to other things. But I don't think as nostalgic as something that ha- that stretches back 12 right, years. Right. Further. No, of course. Yeah. You know, um, but I, I hear you. I think you're right there. But I think this is like mining nostalgia and we'll see how far that goes because the one thing we talk about sometimes on the show is, and we talk about it on the PlayStation all-star show that we do on sacred symbols plus is does Sony really have this history worth mining? And why don't we give a shit? Like we, like people in Nintendo care about their past. And I know that people say, well, people care about the past of Nintendo. I deeply care about the Nintendo, the past of Nintendo, but when people care about the past of Nintendo, they care about all of it. It's not just the first party stuff. When people talk about the NES, of course, Mario 3 comes up and Zelda and Zelda 2. But they're also talking about all of the great third party games and the same with SNES and N64 and GameCube, maybe less so with GameCube and so on and so forth. But I think that people don't yet look back in this nostalgic way at PS1 in the same fashion. And I wonder if that potential is even there. So I think we're going to get some proof in the pudding about Gran Turismo and to a lesser extent, Twisted Metal, I think. 